Hello, good evening, class. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. How are you? Pretty good? Yeah? yeah. Very good. Okay, good, good. How was your weekend? Happy. It was a happy weekend? Yes, happy. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. Okay, very good. Um, so this is the last two days that we have for the week, and then we are finished with this course. Are you ready? Ready to finish? Ready, teacher. All right, excellent. Very good. Sí. Um, ya todos han metido documentación, ¿verdad? ¿Todo dentro la documentación de ustedes? Yes. Yes. Okay, good, good, good. Excellent. Um, hay muchas caritas que todavía no veo. No sé qué ha pasado. Están allí. Ahí estamos. Ok, hay algunas más que... Ok. Hello, girls. Solo, solo miraba a los chicos, pero las chicas no las miraba. Ok, hello. Good to see you. Ok. Um, ¿Cómo estamos? Ah, otra chica, eso. Ok. Very good. Um, ¿cómo, es, ¿Cómo están, chicas? ¿Cómo les fue el fin de semana? ¿Cómo les fue el fin de semana? ¿Cuál estaba destinada a proyectos de asistencia? Was good, teacher. Good night. Good evening, teacher. Thank you. Good evening. Nice hair, teacher. I like. Thank you. No le puedo decir a la orden, pero... Pero, yes, thank you. Uh, yes, it's, it's a change, something different. It's okay. Les fue bien este fin de semana? You had a good weekend? Yes, I had to work, but okay, everything okay. And today is my day off, so I have, I have been at home. <laughs> nice, nice, okay, very good. That's that's why you look very relaxed. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's good. It's always good to to have a day off. Yeah. And and uh, well on and then um Wednesday you will be able to completely be off on the on in the evening, right? Because see, we won't have any class, so you can also rest. Okay. okay. All right, guys, so we're going to start. Uh, with our attendance, we're going to start with uh, Christina. Christina? No, Christina. Okay. Uh, what about Annie? Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Annie. And Thank you. Mari? Mari? No, Mari. Okay. Um, all right, uh, Carolina. Carolina, no. Carolina, la veo, pero no la oiga. Carolina? You having problems with your microphone? Hello, Carolina? Escucha? Carolina? Hola, le. Creo que abrió el, el, el... Ha tenido problemas, Carolina, de... ¿Me escucha o no? Es que lo, veo que tiene el micrófono abierto, pero no oigo que, que habla. ¿Me escucha, Carolina? No. Ok, bueno. Um, ¿O seré yo que la que no, no me escucha? Ah, hoy sí, hoy sí, Carolina. 
Este es el teacher, eh, soy Carolina, me escucha. Es que tengo problemas con el audio y Ajá. no la escucho yo a usted. Ah, aquí estoy okay. para cuando pase lista. Estoy en eso, en arreglar el audio. Perfecto, gracias Carolina. Cristi. Present, teacher. Ok, good. Good to see you, Cristi. Humberto. Sorry, oh, sorry, Jorge. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Jorge. Uh, Jorge. It's okay. Okay. All right. Uh, Karen. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Karen. Thank you. Karina. Present. All right, welcome, Karina. Leonardo. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Leonardo. Um, Linda. Linda? No, Linda? Okay. Um, uh, Marlene? I'm here, teacher. Okay, welcome, Marlene. Miguel. Miguel? No, Miguel? Okay. All right. Um, all right. Uh, perdón, perdón. Ya me perdí acá. Um, Nelson G. I'm here, Miss. Okay, very good. Welcome, Nelson. Uh, Nelson A. You would go. Nelson A? No? No, sir, Nelson A. Okay. Uh, Norma. Present teacher. Okay. Welcome, Norma. Thank you for connecting. Thank you, teacher. Olga. Listen, teacher. Okay. Welcome, Olga. Omar. Listen. Okay. Welcome, Omar. And uh, Suleyma Rodriguez. Suleyma Rodríguez, creo que está conectada. Se acaba de desconectar. Suleyma, no, ya no está, ¿verdad? Quizás tuvo problemas. Ok, Suleyma Melgar. Suleyma Melgar. Ok, and Tatiana. Present teacher. Welcome, Tatiana. Thank you. Okay, very good, guys. Um, so I'm just going to make sure that I have everybody. Um, I didn't hear Christina, Annie, Mari, um, Linda, eh, Miguel. Teacher, yo sí estoy. Ah. Que mencionó ahorita. Present. Pero no le escuché anteriormente. Ok, pero ¿Cómo thanks. no? Me dijo ok. Ah, sorry. Ah, pues no, no le puse. Sorry about that. Ok. Uh, Miguel. Present teacher. Um, ok, wonderful. And I didn't hear. Ok, I didn't hear. Linda, Nelson A. And Suleyma. Ah, ahí está, ok. Estaba teniendo problemas. Con sus... Yes, teacher, está lloviendo. Sí, vi que estaba conectada y de repente ya no estaba conectada. Ok, va. Bueno, entonces, chicos, vamos a empezar. Por, por cierto, antes que empecemos, ¿cómo vamos con eh, la... Um, con, con la plataforma? ¿Cómo vamos? Cuéntenme. Me, teacher, I finished. Me, finished too, teacher. You finished. Wow, that's excellent. Okay. 
Very good, very good. Okay. Uh, questions, problems? Teacher, yo sí tengo una duda porque, o sea, he ido progresando, ¿verdad? En toda la parte de la plataforma, pero no he logrado terminar en una parte de la unidad 3 porque no entiendo la parte de, o sea, lo he intentado varias veces en el que hay que como completar la indirect question. Entonces lo pongo con punto, sin punto, con el question mark y todas me dicen que está incorrecto. Entonces esa parte de la unidad 3 no la puede pasar. O sea, es lo único que tenía ahí pendiente de eso de la unidad 3. ¿Y cómo? O sea, ¿esa es de completar o es de poner en...? en... Es de escribir la oración. Es de poner las, las, las palabras en... Eh, o sea... Yes, you have to change uh, the sentence with can you tell me and uh, complete the sentence, but I can finish that because always make a make a mistake and I can finish. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay, let me let me check. What do you know which which um, exercise it is? Uh, just let me see because I don't remember. Okay. It's the same problem to me, teacher, but but uh, I let the the bad answers. Oh, you left the bad answers, the wrong answers, you mean? The wrong, the wrong answers. answers. Mm -hmm. Okay, just just let me know which which one it is so that I can help you. Indirect question. Mm -hmm. But which one? Three point, maybe. Uh, teacher is the first uh, exercise. Three, two, one. No. 3.1? 3.3, .3 maybe. I, I don't remember. Ah. Okay. Bye. I'm going to show you what I have, and you tell me if this is the one. No. Yes. Uh, yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. So all you gotta do is um you gotta you gotta start with the can you tell me, right? Okay, just give me a second. Give me one second and I'll figure it out. Yeah, you have to write with, you have to start with, can you tell me? And then um, you have yeah. to decide if it's going to be a yes or no question, then you put if. If it's an information question, you put when, where, why, who, et cetera, et cetera. And then you can continue. What you can do, what you can do. Okay, do, let's let's but do it, it but let's do something. Take a screenshot of the exercise you're having problem with and send it to me through the the group. Okay? In the WhatsApp. Okay? Sounds good? Okay. All right. So both of you, Tatiana okay. and Jorge do the same thing. Okay? Sounds okay. good? Okay. Bye. Chicos, eh, no sé cuántos de ustedes todavía están ahí porque solo unas caritas veo yo. La mayoría no los veo. Así que tal vez se me hace un favorzazo. Okay. All right. So, guys, uh, we're going to start our class. <laughs> okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Suleyma, I, I, I wrote you down that you're here. 
Okay, so tell me please if you can see my PowerPoint. Just give me one moment. We're gonna and we're going to be working on 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 the uh, a little bit in the in the um, passive voice too. So okay, can you see my PowerPoint? Yes. Sir. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. So we're going to start. So this is uh, the topic is fire escape plan article and discussion. Uh, your teacher is Jessica Guerrero. It's the intermediate two. It's class number 24. Okay. So um, first activity, join your assigned breakout room with your original group. Um, take as a reference the prototype you worked with in your, your turn on page 27. Okay. So remember you created a, pro a prototype. Right, you talked that we, we did the presentation. Now you're going to design a basic production process. Oh, no, wait a second. Sorry, we already did this one. Never mind. But skip. Sorry. I re we already did this one. I'm sorry about that. We did that one too. Ah, this is the one. Sorry. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to start by um, looking at the passive voice with the present perfect. We're gonna we're gonna do a little quiz here. So this is an activity here. I want you to you're actually gonna work on this. Um, so it says, um, has she phoned him? It says rewrite the sentence in the present perfect passive form. Choose from the following options. So you're gonna choose one of these four. So is it correct to say has he been phoned by her? Has he been phoning by her? Has he been phoned by her? Has she been phoned by him? So you're gonna choose which one is the correct one to change this question into the, into the uh, present perfect passive. Remember, this is what we learned at last class. And I want you to take a screenshot of this because this is not in the manual. Okay, so take a screenshot. Okay. Okay. Did you take it? Yes. Okay, good. Here's the next one. Oh, wait a sec. No, sorry. Hmm. Let's see what happens here. Just give me a moment. Okay, all right, here is the next one. And I also need you to take a screenshot because there are too many of them and I can't. Okay, this one. Okay, so again, you have to complete the, in this one, you have to complete um, the questions with one of the, uh, the possible answers, A, B, C, or D. Okay, so you can take a screenshot. Okay. And here's the last, oh no, here's the last one. Okay, I finished the job, the job da, 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 by me. So you're gonna decide if it's A, B, or C. Take a screenshot. Sure. Can you repeat the before? <laughs> Sorry, which one? The before. Oh, sure. Um, this one? Yeah, let me a moment, please. Okay.
Yep, thank you. You're welcome. And did you also take a screenshot of this? Yep. Okay, so I'm going to get you to work in groups of three. Uh, I'm going to create groups of three. And um, and we um, we are going. I'm going to give you about fifteen minutes to work on this, and then we're going to come back and we're going to check the answers. Okay, so here we go. Suleyma, Christina, are you having problems? Christina, are you having problems? De la uno, de la uno a la, ay, no sé. Did you take the screenshot? Sí. Okay. Yes. yes, I have finished the job, ¿verdad? Y the job, I have this finish. I have finished. I have been, been finished. Eh, just let me see. Eh, I have the one que eh, has she found him has been found by her has been found in by her has been found by her has she been found by him? Oh my God, espera, espera, espera. I don't understand this. I think it's the first one has he been found by her. Espérame, Tatiana. Que, ah, perdón. Es la, es, son las primeras, ¿verdad? I have she from, sí, ajá, uh -huh. sí, sí, perdón, es que estaba en el, estaba en el último que mandó, estaba, no, me, no me acordaba que estaba el otro, ay, es que ando más surumba que otra cosa. No, no se preocupe. Vaya, eh, ok. No estuve en la clase ayer, pero medio la he visto ahora y, y más o menos. Reescribo la... Hay mayor complicación. Quiero señalar. Ah, ok, aquí sería. Esta zona que hay probabilidad. Has she been found by him, vea. Amigo televidente que debe de manejar con precaución. La última opción. Al momento de que llueva. Yo con esto sin más. Eh, has she found him. No, para mí es la primera. Gracias, hay muchas posibilidades de precipitaciones todavía en algunos puntos del territorio. By her, by, by her. her, by her. Ah, no, quiero ver, porque tiene que estar en el past participle. Uh -huh. Sí, por eso es la última, diría yo, porque también es el, el, el sujeto es este she, ¿eh? No es he. Es he. Pero es que la pregunta dice que si ella le ha llamado a él, entonces Ajá. Ajá. Eh, para mí es, podría has ser he been found by her. Es la, okay. la tercera, ¿verdad? La, uh -huh. 
Para yes. mí es la tercera. Uh, is, para mí también es la tercera. Vaya, entonces sería has he been lo voy a ir escribiendo porque si no después me voy solo molot. Ok. By her. Perfect. Número two. Do you have any questions, girls? Um, por el momento no, teacher. Por el momento no, teacher. Estamos tratando aquí de construirlas. Okay, but it's, is it clear? Like, you understand what you have to do? Uh, yes, uh, we have to choose uh, the right sentence. And we were, we were reading about how she found him. I think it's the third, uh, the third sentence. Mm -hmm. Right. It's okay. Okay. So that's, I think, is we have to do. Just choose the right sentence. Right. Exactly. That's all you got to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. Okay. Uh, Do you guys have any questions? Um, not teacher. Uh, only. Not teacher. No. Teacher, the the um, have or has been is only changed when is our question, right? Sorry, can you repeat the question again? Uh, the the change when you have or has been is only change at uh, the position or when it's a question or only a negative or affirmative. No, we always we always put in the the structure. The structure is going to be um, if it's a question, it's going to have the have or has at the beginning. Uh, uh, and when it is a negative, no. Uh, also. When, it, when if it's a, 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 an affirmative sentence or a negative sentence, no. no. We, we put subject and then the auxiliary have or has and then have a uh, Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And I like your heart. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you look good. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the results. ¿Qué pasó, Marlene? Que hoy, 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 ¿Qué pasó con la cámara? Es que estoy llenando, teacher. Ah, okay. <laughs> Por, Pero ya, ya me voy a conectar. <laughs> no, no. Por eso la quito. Está bien, ¿no? No, le va... Está bien, no hay problema que esté ahí. <laughs> ok. Así me da menos sueño. Sí, pero le va a dar hambre. <laughs> bueno, eso sí. <laughs> Una o dos, o sueño o hambre. Vale, está bien. Las dos cosas. Sí, ya sé. Ok. Um, entonces, I think it has not been an. Aquí, not has. Not has. Not has been harmed. Number number is no. has not of um has not what number harmed. has number harmed harmed has not been hard the number one no number two has or was was not harmed okay. 
¿Qué dicen las sábanas? La estructura. How can... Of the board question. Okay. Okay. Then. Puedo copiar en el chat. For, for me, it's quite not for me. Was not for me. The second. Yes. Pero si estamos usando el este presente bar, perfect passive voice, bueno, igual vuelvo a lo del manual, yo considero que es el not has been armed. Not has been, no ha sido dañada. Number three. Uh -huh. Has been not. Not has been. Um, not has been. O oh, oh no. Eh, bueno, no encuentro ningún ejemplo con el not. Tal vez sea mejor el. Teacher. Being not. Um. Una consulta, teacher. Teacher. Yes. Score it. What not was not harming or not has been harming? Sorry, what, which yes. number are you on? Number two. Was number not, two. Was not, not harming. Or, or there is not has been harming. Is the question is despite the transgression, his reputation. Yes. Is correct, not has been, been harmed. harmed. Notice that it says here, complete the sentence in the present yes. perfect passive voice. So um, to be honest, both of them are correct. Both of them have been correct. Like, has not been harmed, was not harmed, but only one of them is in the present perfect. Okay. Okay. So yes, you can use the two of them, but the instructions say that you have to use the present perfect passive. So only one answer is correct. Which one is that? Wait, which one is the present perfect passive? None has been harmed. Mm -hmm. Has not been. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Three, two, three. Three. The result of the degree. Examination G. Complete the sentence in present perfect passive voice. Mm, yes. Letter B. I think it's letter B. Mm -hmm. Have been looker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Será el T. Creo que no me lo ha dicho la otra. I have watched that movie. Uh -huh. Have watched. Mm. Ha, quiero ver. Has been watched. Watch. Has been watched. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. oh. 
No. A has, he says. Tiene que ser letter A. Letter A. <laughs> Lo que pasa es que has, pero ahí el, el sujeto es. I have what I is el subject. Mm -hmm. I is el subject. I. Entonces sería have been. Have been washed. Eh, the other is Peter has broken another window. Another window has been broken. Has been broken, I think. Has been broken. Mm -hmm. eh, Solo quiero hacer, hacer una corrección. Uh -huh. Acá estoy viendo en eh, that movie, that movie, ahí sí sería entonces subject, eh, la película, sería that movie has been watched. Sería has been, no have been. Ah, has been, sería el letter B. Yes, letter B. Number five era letter B también. ¿Verdad? Has been broken. Sí. Ajá. Hay muchas personas que murieron en desaparecidos después de que la embarcación se hundiera el sábado. Number six, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. La mayoría de los desaparecidos son mujeres. Dice, I have written Had been written, 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 Has number is number has been done number two the answer okay and so number five near nearly 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 five thousand hundred I make you walk hundred Five hundred, Berda. Biscuit packets. Nearly is cerca de. Quinientos biscuits packets. Packets of biscuits. Five hundred biscuit packets. Biscuit packets. In distributed the first. Have been distributed. Sí, son 500. Have been, have been distributed. Distributed. ¿Qué dice? Passive voice, verdad? Passive perfect, passive voice. Present perfect. Okay, number one. Yes. Okay. Hoy, la segunda parte. I, no, <laughs> the document es pregunta. The documents are plural, so have, have the document been, 
already no being submit submitted submit submit ¿Cómo se pronuncia submitted el number D letter D submitted submitted yeah. submitted Okay. And the letter D has have been submitted, submitted, submitted. Yes, because it's the document. In the document been sub submitted already. Okay. Letter D. Um, and I'm like, and I'm like, and I'm like, and I'm like, this is an, a name. Letter D. Anamika has been invited to attend the field file hour distribution function. Um, has been invited. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm, and I'm like, and I'm has been invited to attend. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's letter D. They have not contracted. Contracted, they have not contracted. Miss, yes, miss. For yes. white sentence. Yeah. Do you have any do you have any questions, girls? No. No questions? Um, well morning not teacher. If you use the wrong form of auxiliary, the wrong. No, nada que ver. La sentencia está correcta. Será solo el, me, el main verb el que está mal. Yeah. O sea, solo enter. Ajá, pero me dice principal, mayor, importante. Ingresar. Sal. How are you doing, girls? Are you almost finished? No, teacher. No, teacher. We don't know the number four in the second exercise. Number, you're working on number four in the second exercise. Yes. Okay. But we don't find the answer. Remember, this says which is supposed to be a sentence in the present perfect pass passive voice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the wrong auditorium have been entered by me. The, the wrong auditorium. How many auditoriums? One. One. Mm -hmm. So it's has. singular, right? You <laughs> mm -hmm. use the wrong for. Does that help you? Yes. Okay. Thank you. 
is in is in plural so i think mm -hmm. in this case is letter b have been meant meant i think have been meant yes but i'm not sure but i think it's in is in with have been letter b letter b Uh, the other one is I have cooked dinner. Mm -hmm. Dinner has been cooked. Has been cooked. Has been cooked. Has been cooked. Mm -hmm. Letter B. Letter B. Mm -hmm. Eh, luego va la otra, ¿verdad? El otro cuadrito. Déjenme ver es que, ¿cuál, es, cuál es el otro cuadrito. The eh, documents already. Complete the sentence in present perfect. Passive voice. Es el que hicimos. Creo ver? No. ¿O ya Al inicio. El de has she found him. No. Hay otro. Hay otro. Si quieres se lo mando al grupo. Ajá, porfa, porque. Ah, mire, ese si no le tomé. A ese sí, si de... no le tomé screenshot. Que último lo, lo tomé porque yo dije, pensaba que, todo, pensaba que todos eran el mismo. Ajá. Ahorita se lo estoy enviando. Ok. Ah, es el de The Document and Ready. Uh -huh. Sí, lo ya, tiene. Ya está en el grupo. Ahí lo han puesto. En ah, ahí. Ajá, ahí está. Yo ese sí no lo tenía. Yo ese último le tomé, pero... O sea, que eran tres cuadritos, prácticamente. Uh -huh. Sí. Sí, ¿verdad? Okay. ok. Entonces, ahí sería de documents already. Sí, sí. Uh, okay, and what, what is the, the, what exercise are you on? What exercise the are you on? Last one, the last one, teacher. Mm -hmm. The last page. The last, yes. Uh, Let's start with the number one, the documents. The documents already. El último que está en el grupo, teacher, que han pegado ahí el, el ah, cuadrito. No, no sé cuál es, el, no he visto el grupo todavía. Ajá, es ese, porque ese sí yo no lo tenía. Ya, hicieron, ya, ya son tres páginas las que han hecho. Eh, sí, o sea, hemos hecho dos. Ahorita vamos con la última, que es la esta. Última. Okay. All right. And what, what number? Number one. Number one. The documents. Oh, okay. okay yeah. Already. All right, perfect. I see it. Okay, I think uh, the documents. Uh, sería has been has, no, has, ayudante. Thank you. Have been no because because it's in plural. 
the documents. Uh -huh. So, teacher. Maybe because the the raining is so bad, the, the internet. A little. Um, teacher, do you hear? Yes, I am here. Um, uh, we have a question. Okay. Do you use has and have? Um, for me, has is uh, for third person, right? No. Have, has is used for third person, singular. Okay. Um, the question uh, is, uh, give me a second. And um, we are confused, teacher. Uh, in the number <laughs> six, in the number six, for example. Yeah, the, the the second screenshot and the number six is I have written six letters, and the answer is six letters have been written for me by me. Oh, by me, but, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, the question is, why isn't has been written? Because it's six letters. It's plural. Because it's plural. Yes. Okay. Letters is plural. So it has to be have. Okay. But aunque, sea, the... aunque sea tercera persona. No, no yes, sé. Yes, that. that because it's six letters. Okay. It's they. Then, then teacher, we can, we can check the example number four in the same picture. I have watched the movie, that movie. Mm -hmm. that, that movie uh, has been watched. Yes, by me. Mm -hmm. Correct. Because that movie is sing is third person singular. That movie is it. That's, that's when it's movie. a singular is it has. Exactly. When it's when and it's when third it's person singular. singular. When it's third person singular, yeah, yeah. it has. When it's he, two she, or it. Two mm -hmm. two, two uh, condition. He, she, it. He, she, it. Sorry, he, and she, she, and it. And, those and singular too. Well, well, he, she, it are singular. Is singular. Mm -hmm. When it's a plural, is it's how? It's how? Mm -hmm. Yes, with all the other ones for I, you, we, they. We're gonna use how. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, we are some confused, some kind of confused in this this part. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We think it's only the third person, but not is thinking for plural or yeah, singular. Mm, no, no. It has to be. It has to uh, be. Yeah. It's not. It's not just singular because I is singular, but I is it's first person singular. You can also be yeah. singular, but it's second person singular, uh, plural. Sorry, singular. Okay. So this has to be third person singular. I, sorry, he, she, or it. Okay, mm. and then, then in the example number three, we are thinking about different because is the girls have plumed the flowers, but the flowers are, are plural. The flowers have been plucked by her. Plucked. Have been plucked. Uh -huh. Because it's the flowers, it's plural. Flowers. Mm -hmm. plural. Okay. okay. Ah. That okay. Makes sense. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Okay. You're welcome. Okie dokie. Okay, so... then number eight. Uh -huh. Para ella. Has, yes. has have been plucked. Has been have been plucked. Been. Letter B. B. Letter B. <laughs> También. 
repeat letter B. Number, number three, letter B has been washed. Has have been broken. Number four, letter B two. Mm. Number four, and higher window by P. In number three, letter B. Letter B. Bien, two. Yes. Number four. I have. Letter B también. Has been no. watched. Yes. Has, Has been, been broken. Watched. Because it's the movie. The movie is the, 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 the person the, that mm -hmm. is. It is. Uh -huh, I have. Peter has broken another window. Another window has broke, has been broken. Has been broken. Yeah. Letter B. Yes. Letter B. Uh, number five is the mule by me. I have I have six letters. Six letters. I have been with six letters have been written. Let us see. No, no. Because you talk about uh, uh six letters. Uh. The noun I have been written. See, the pronoun is is about six letters, and you use have because has uh -huh. have has been written. I think letter, letter B. When those when the things is that the. Same, I think it's bad, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's difficult. It's demasiado bueno para ser verdad. Porque es hard, no has. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Had you received the parcel? Have you received the parcel? Letter B2, I think so. Have the parcel been received by you? Have the parcel been received? Have the parcel been received? Have the parcel been received? Have the invitation? Have the parcel? Letter A. Ah, uh, or letter A. Yeah. Yes. Has the parcel. Yeah, has the parcel. Has the parcel been reserved? Yeah, letter A. Letter A. Has the parcel been reserved? Yeah, because you talk about the parcel. Mm -hmm. the letter A invitation. Has the accepted invitation? Has the invitation, Has the invitation been accepted? Been accepted. Letter B. Letter B. The new letter B. Yeah, B. but in the in the, in the, up, in the before Has is the, letter A. Has the invitation been sí. accepted? Letter A, uh -huh. in the seven letter A, in the eight letter B, the new. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> have known, I have known her for a long time. Has known. She has been known to me for a long time. There B. Has been no letter B. 
Something new. Has been no letter B. Can I tell a little on letter B? <laughs> sí. Is it correct? I don't know. The teacher's correct. <laughs> <laughs> you have a question? Oh, teacher. I think it's, uh, it had coinc uh, coincidence that all, all in the last uh, capture is all, almost all B letter B. <laughs> okay. We'll have to see about that. <laughs> I don't think so because when some repeats, then the repeat, I think so. It's not horror, but in such yeah. case, we'll have to see. Okay, yeah, the 10, right? Number 10. Okay. Number 10. Mm -hmm. Our team has won the championship. The championship, the championship. has been won. Or have you won? Mm. Uh, uh, Our team has won the championship. The championship has been won. I think there be two, but in this case, I have been no. Or have been uh, or have been won? Have been never see won or no? Let us see. Campeonato. El campeonato. Ha sido ganado por nuestro equipo. Uh -huh. Ajá. Have. Equipo es plural. No. no. The championship. Ah, no, verdad. Bueno. Ay, confused. Yeah, me too, because I... I, I just... I, let it be también, entonces. Let it be, I think so, let it be. Because you talk about the championship in the first. Oh, has it been? Yes, yeah. in, in the... In... B or C? Has it been? Letter B. Or no. Yep. Yes. She has made the way her ways by her. I have. It has been. Has been. The number eleven. Number eleven. Uh, let us see. Has been Mendel. Mendel. Let us see. I believe. Okay, are you guys finished? No, teacher. Yes, teacher. Five yeah. minutes. Five more minutes. Okay. All right. I'll give you more time, but I need to take attendance. So I'm, that's why I called you guys back. Okay. So, Christina? Christina? No. Annie? Present, teacher. Wonderful. Mari? Hmm? Present. Come on, come. Welcome, Maddie. Carolina. Carolina. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Christy. 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 La veo conectada. Pero... Present teacher. Okay, Tengo problemas con el internet. Okay, no problem. No, it's okay. Sí, vi que algunos de ustedes estaban eh, entrando y saliendo, así que me imaginé que tenían problemas. Okay, um, Jorge. 
Present teacher. All right. Karen? Present teacher. Good. Karina? Present. Great. Uh, Leonardo? No oh, teacher. Present. All right. Excellent. Linda? Present teacher. Excellent. Welcome. And uh, Marlene? Present. Great. Miguel? Present. Excellent. Nelson G? Present. All right. Excellent. Nelson, Nelson A? Nelson A? Nelson? Present teacher. Okay. Welcome, Nelson. Olga? Present teacher. Hey, Omar? Present. Great. Suleima Rodriguez? Present. Great. And Suleima Melgar? Suleima Melgar? And Tatiana? Present teacher. Great. Okay. Bye. Excellent. Now, how many minutes do you need to finish? Can you do it in five minutes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right. I'm going to give you then, I'm going to open up the rooms again. I'm going to give you five minutes um, to finish off. Okay, here we go. Has the invitation. Has the invitation been accepted by the MC? Little B. Eight and then nine. I have I have known her for a long time. I have known for I know. I have known her for a long time. Letter B. She has been known me yes. for a long time. Okay. She has been known by me for a long time. <laughs> oh no. For a long time. Yeah, letter B. Yeah, letter B. Mm -hmm. Okay, let it be. Our team has won the championship. The championship has won, has been won. Hola. Siwa has been won. Letter B. Uh -huh. Letter B. Yes. Okay. She has mended. It is mended. Mended. She has mended her ways. Arreglar. Here in the regular who has been mended. No, her ways. She has mended her ways. Here. Her ways. Her ways. Her ways has been mended. Let her see. Uh -huh.
letter C? Yes, for me, letter C, too. Yes. I have cooked dinner. Dinner has cooked, has been cooked. Has been cooked by me. Letter B. Has been, has been, uh -huh. has been cooked. Letter B. And finish. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, so that's it. You're finished? All yeah. of it? Yes, it's Yes, we finished everything? Okay, yes. all right, great. I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Okay. Oh, okay. But there are two, two conditions. When it's a question and when, when it's a... It's a, a sentence. Normal sentence. <laughs> Y eso es que decía que la teacher lo explicaba bien. Nosotros teníamos un teacher que peor nos quedábamos. Porque en, de, en el módulo, um, I don't remember, it's the six basic. I think it's the passive boy too. Because the teacher, uh, but the teacher, uh, no. Más bueno, perdido nos dejaba. Bueno, Más perdido nos dejaba. De teacher le valía. Así que eso es lo bueno ahorita. The teacher is good, but the structure always is confused and we we need to remember always the, the structure. Y... It's difficult. Uh, I don't think it's a difficult distraction. Um, the difficult is that the verb in passive voice, because now it's the same the the present and the past and past participle. I think. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi. Are Hi, you teacher. finished? Yes. Oh, okay. Before, uh, before five and before. Okay, perfect. All right, wonderful. Um, okay, so I will see you in the main room. Okay, teacher. Okay, so we are going to be checking the answers now. Um, I think I have. I think almost everybody's finished. I was. I was checking for that to make sure that everybody did finish, and I think we did. So let's check right now. Okay, because of time, um, I'm going to just simply give you guys the answers and you can stop me if there's something that you don't understand why, okay? I think this is the first one. No, this is the first one. Yeah, that's the first one. Okay, so has she phoned him? 
Rewrite the sentence in the present perfect passive form. Choose from the following options. So how do you make has she phoned him into the passive, perfect passive form? Remember for the perfect passive, we always have to use um, the has or have, and then the been, right? Okay, but if it's a question, we start with the have or has. Sorry, uh, sorry. Sorry, my mistake, let's repeat. If it's a regular sentence, you're gonna start with subject and then have or has, been, always has or have been, and then the past participle. But if it's a question, we're gonna start with have or has, and then subject, then been, and then the past participle. So what's the first one for this one? The first one would be, um, just give me a second. The first one will be, um, has he been phoned by her? So the answer is this one, right? Actually, I'm gonna do it like this. I think this is better. Yeah. Has he been phoned by her? Okay, because she's the one she's, who's doing the action by her. Okay, so far so good? Yes. Okay. Teacher. Okay. Excellent. Now, number two, despite the the trans ten, sorry, the transgression, his reputation. Now, I'm gonna tell you a little secret. These two options are actually both grammatically correct. It could be I, I could say despite the trans transgression, his reputation has not been harmed or despite the transgression, his reputation was not harmed. Both of them are okay. But the difference is that here we're being asked for the present, we're being asked for the present perfect passive. And only one of these two is the present perfect passive. What's the answer then? Which one has the has, has, has not been harmed? Has been harmed. Exactly. Only this one would be the answer. Okay. Okay. All right. Next, the result of the degree examination, and then it says here: complete the sentence with the present perfect passive voice by filling up the blank, choosing from the following options. So, what would be the answer? Only two of these are the present perfect passive. Have, have, no, have not been an answer. Have not been an answer. The results have not been announced. Because have the not, results, have not the been results are announced. plural, right? Have not been announced. Exactly, have not been announced. Yes. Right? Because remember, the results of the degree of examinations. So it's not just about the examination, it's the results of the degree of examination. So that's plural. Next one. Um, so it's here, complete the sentence in the present perfect passive voice by filling up the blanks, choosing the following options. Okay, remember, this is a question. So we're either going to start with have or has. So automatically, number three and number four are out of the question. So it can only be between these two. Now, it's very easy. All you have to do is figure out is it is it um is it going is it the third person singular or is it the other one? Here it says the patient's temperature. So is that third person singular or no? That's me. No. No. Singular. Is patient singular. Be, be is, uh, is a possessive. Exactly. The patient's temperature. Yes, la temperatura del paciente. Uh huh. So is it singular? Has, has, singular. Singular. singular has been taken. Singular. And is it first, second, or third person? Has been taken. A third person. 
is third person because temperature is a thing, right? So it's a third person singular. So is it going to be have or has? Has. 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 So the only possibility is this one. Has. Okay. Has been mm -hmm. Yes. Like I said, number three and number four, impossible because to make it the, the past, the present perfect passive, we need to have or has. Mm -hmm. And number three and four does not start with have or has. And then this one could only be the answer because the patient's temperature is third singular. So it has to be has. Okay? Okay. All right. Number five. Here are the 500 biscuit packages. And then it says, complete the sentence in the present perfect passive voice by filling up the blank chosen from the following options. So what would it be? 500 biscuit packs. Uh, have been distributed. Have been distributed. Have been distributed. Have been distributed. Now, this one's pretty easy because R it, number three cannot be possible because this doesn't start with have or has. So automatically we eliminate it. So it can only be one, two, or three. But remember, we always use have been or has been. So in, in number two is also out of the question because it says being. And then you have to use the past participle. <laughs> The past part is oh, not distributing. So the only possibility is number one. Do you understand this exercise or is it clear? Is it yes, clear? It's okay? Vamos bien? It's okay. Yes. Yes, it's wonderful. Okay, let's go on to the next one then. Um Okay, we're gonna to go to the next activity. Okay, the next activity is, um, okay, so number one says, so basically you just have to choose from one of these ones, right? So complete the sentence in present perfect passive voice by filling up the blank choosing the following options. So remember, again, we're gonna start with have or has. So number B, letter B and letter C are out of the question. Okay, so it's either going to be number one or number four. What's the answer? Number four. Number, letter D, right? Mm -hmm. Letter D. Yes, yeah. because the documents is plural. So you say the documents have, not the documents has. Okay, so the document, sorry, sorry. So you have had the documents been submitted already. There you go. Number five, Anamika blank to attend the film fair awards distribution function. Complete the sentence of the present perfect passive voice by filling up the blank choosing from the following options. So Anamika has been has invited. Been invited. Very good. Better D teacher. Very good. And this one is even easier because we have to use the past the perfect passive voice. And these ones are not past, per past perfect voice because it, they all start with verb be and we have to always have start with the verb have to be, to be the present perfect passive. Letter D. So the only possibility is letter D. Okay? Okay. Stop me if, if the explanation is not clear. Si todavía están como, this doesn't make sense, stop me. Okay? All right, so far so good? Yes, teacher. Yes, good. teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Cuando le diga so far so good, ¿qué significa? Okay. When I, I ask you, so far so good? ¿Qué significa eso en inglés? So far so good. Todo bien, no sé. Uh -huh. Hasta el momento todo va bien. Uh, uh. That's what it means, okay? So, so far, yes. so good. And yes. we have to answer what? <laughs> yes or no? Yes or no? Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So far, so good? 
Okay, good. Right. La puerta. <laughs> All right. Okay. 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 Number three. They have not contract, contracted measles. We write the sentence in the present perfect passive. Choose from the following options. So remember, present perfect passive. So letter B, not an option because you use R. Letter C, also not an option because you use were. So the answer has to be either A or B. What's the answer? A. A. Letter A. A. Okay, very good. Measles have not been contracted by them. Okay, good. Number four, the wrong auditorium have been entered by me. What is wrong with the sentence? Which is supposed to be a sentence in the present perfect passive? Choose from the following options. Okay, so. Letter A. Yeah, okay, so uh, I'm going to make this very simple for you. The wrong auditorium. Is that third person, sorry, is that singular or plural? Singular. The wrong auditorium is singular, right? Mm -hmm. So, what's the problem? Teacher. Letter B. Yeah. Yeah. If, you notice, if you notice, the wrong auditorium have. If this is third person singular, we have to use has, right? Yes. So, what's the problem? The problem is? The letter C. It uses the B. B. Letter B. Because the verb is not in the oh, sorry. Yes. participle. Yes. yes you're uh, absolutely right. Thank you. Yes. It uses the wrong form of the auxiliary teacher. verb. Oh. Mm. Be en being entered or be No, 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 no. Perdón, pero estaba bien la primera vez. It's letter B because the, the main bird in the auxiliary bird is wrong. Exactly. Yeah. So the other yes. problem is that enter is is in the the infinitive form, right? And we enter it. Yeah, we need to use the past participle, right? Yes. And the run out auditorium is in singular, so we need to use has. Exactly. Absolutely. Okay, very good. Number five now, why has the minister's trip been postponed? What is wrong with the sentence, uh, which is supposed to be a sentence in the present perfect passive voice? That's the important part. We're going to use it, but it should be used in the present perfect passive voice. Choose from the following options. So, um, well, why has the minister's trip been postponed? Um, So, what's the answer? For me, it's letter D. For me, letter C. Letter C. Letter C. Okay, the minister's trip. Letter A. How many, how many trips? A. How many trips? The, minute, the minister's trip? How many trips is that? Singular teacher. It's, it's only one, right? Only one trip. So it's singular. So is, should we use have or has? Has. Has. So what's the answer then? D. D teacher. Yeah, the sentence is correct as it is. As is. Okay. okay, there's nothing wrong okay. with it. The minister's trip is singular, so uh, you, you have to use has, and been is correct, and we use the past participle, which is postponed, so it's fine. Okay? So, okay. so good? good? Yes. Yes? Okay, good. All right, let's move on. The last one. I'm going to go a little bit faster with this one because uh, because we still have more activities we need to do. So I have finished the job. 
the answer would be B. B. The job has been finished by me. The cat has drunk the milk. The milk has been drunk. The girls have plucked the flowers. The flowers have been plucked by her. B. I have watched that movie. That movie has been watched. Another window. Hold on. Has been, has been broken. Another window has been broken by Peter. Yeah. I've written six letters. Six letters have, have been written. written. Have, have been written. Have you received the parcel? Has the parcel yeah. been received? Uh, has the parcel been received by you? Because the parcel is singular. Have they accepted the invitation? Has the invitation been accepted? Been, been accepted. Be. Uh, I have known her for a long time. She has been known. To me for a long time. Has been known to me for a long time. Uh, Ken, our team has won the championship. The championship has been won. Has by been won. Mm -hmm. has she has mended her ways. Her ways have, have been, been mended by her. I have cooked dinner. Dinner has been has cooked. been cooked has been cooked by me. Okay, almost. Are we? Do we understand this? It's pretty clear now. You're still wondering. Yes. You're still confused. Seventy-five of hundred percent. Okay. <laughs> what what would I? What can I do to help you get to the one hundred percent? Or at least ninety five percent. What what is not clear? What do you want me to explain? We make a, a lot of mistake. Uh, recognize uh, <laughs> is singular or plural. <laughs> okay. Okay, I understand. Yes. Okay, so absolutely, that's one of the most important things. You're going to have to recognize if it's singular or plural. If you can't recognize if it's singular or plural, it's gonna be extremely difficult. So you have to ask yourself, is, yes, is it, how many of these are there? Okay, and I'm gonna stop sharing for a moment because I wanna see all of your faces. Okay, so one of the first things you're gonna do is ask yourself, how many are there? If there's only one, then it's gonna be singular. That's gonna be easy. If there's more than one, if it's, um, if you know, there could be like, if it, there's no specific number, but you know that there's more than one, then it's obviously going to be, um, it's gonna be ha um, the, the, the singular form. The other thing that will tell if it's a singular form, if it's a non-count noun. So if it's something you can't count, like money, you can't count money, you guys know that, right? Water. Water. But I want, I want you guys to understand that you can't count money. And people are like, why? Because you can't say one money, two monies, three monies, four monies. We can count dollars, coins, you know, things like that, bills, but we can't count money. The word money is uncountable, right? So uh, words like money, water, pasta, knowledge, Etc., cetera, etc., cetera, things that we can't touch, um, that would be uncountable. Okay. And that, therefore, we would use, we have to use have. Sorry, has, 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 sorry, has. Okay. And for all the other ones, use have. So it's either going to be has been or have been. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. 
Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay, perfect. All right, let's go on to the next one then. Let's go on to the next um, activity. We have a few minutes. We're gonna be using them to, um, here we go. Tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Yes. Okay. yes. All right. So it says here, group work. Choose one of the most critical hazard hazards identified in the previous lesson. Brainstorm ideas on how to prevent accidents related to that particular hazard. Design a poster featuring three safety measures. Share your poster with the class. So this is an example of a poster. It says, attention, new safety measures. To prevent falls, slips, and trips, remember two, one, store all tools in proper location when not used. Two, keep all tools clean and in good working conditions. Three, wear all safety gear while you are in this area. Okay, so this is something you're gonna do, something very simple. It's gonna be a poster similar to this about a safety measure that we can use to prevent accidents like, uh, the, like the accidents that we saw in the previous lessons, okay? And all you're gonna do is write three safety measures. Not very many, so I don't, I don't want you to go crazy. You know, all you're gonna do is do three safety measures, just like this one, okay? Does this make sense? One, Two, uh, three. Teacher, yeah. uh, would you tell me the meaning of hazards? Has, oh, hazards. Okay. Good. What are hazards? Anybody know what are hazards? Peligro. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's see. Do you remember, oops, sorry. Do you remember, uh, do you guys remember this activity that we did? This one right here? Do you remember this one? Oh no, ya no se acuerdan de esta. This activity. Yes, Okay, so hazard was one of those words. What did we say was hazard? What number? What number did we say was, sorry, what, 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 what was the, for hazard, what was the definition? Likelihood of harm in a specific, specific circumstance. Yes, very good, exactly. Okay, does that answer your question? So it's like, it's like um, how possible it is to have a harm, right? What is a harm? What is harm? It's like a damage. Damage. Uh, mm -hmm. Very good. In Spanish, you say? Uh, daño. Daño. Exactly. So the possibility of, of suffering a harm in a specific circumstance, that's a hazard. Okay. Thank yes. you. You're welcome. Okay. All right, um, so are, is, is this pretty clear what you're gonna be doing? Yes, no? Yes? 
Yes. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. So in that case, I'm going to put you into group into pairs. Actually, you're going to do this very simple. No quiero que se me compliquen. Tienen unos diez minuticos. Eh, y no quiero que se me compliquen. Eso bien sencillo. No un poster, algo. Three steps. That's it. Okay. So don't don't be saying, oh, PT, you know, don't be, no le estén como dicen en español, hallando tantas patas al, al, al gato, ¿verdad? ¿Cuánto es? Tres patas, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay, just very simple, straight to the point. Okay? All right, here we go. Let's open the rooms. Okay. Mm. Olga. Hi. No, so. Okay, on um, the first, maybe. One second. Sassy. Kevin? Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> mi perrita. Estoy tratando de hacer mi teléfono ahorita. Es de cualquier situación, ¿verdad? Yeah. The most critical horse. Maybe um, when it's a ¿Qué dice terremoto? Mm. Or maybe lluvia or incendio or mm. terremoto. Okay, for the terremoto here, Okay, the first. The first is. Okay, let me see. Is um, make, make a plan to keep your family safe. Um, uh, uh, have an emergency kit ready to go. Uh huh. Um, then learn how to use your home food and break your box. Mm. Um, in emergency, uh, the person have to have one point for for location. Um, yes, the other and is have the telephone number for uh, some 
if you so, see uh, any any donor power line stay away and call nine uh, one yes. one one yes and a number of family mm -hmm. uh, who call in in case of emergency yes uh, other is um during an earthquake a stop drop or cover in a hole yeah. Uh, uh -huh. um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's I think it's uh, yeah, the one maybe is uh, have an emergency kit, uh stop drug cover and hold during an earthquake. And if you see any down in power nine, uh, the call uh nine one one. Yeah, only that. Design a poster featuring three safety measures. How how can I design a post? Mm -hmm. Yes, the post may be include measure protection, safety measure, safety measure. Mm -hmm. So to make sure. Mm -hmm. And number one. Hi. What happened, girls? Tatiana? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, I just have a question because uh, I see the, how do you say, the cuadrito, <laughs> pero, pero lo que no sé es que, o sea, yo lo entiendo como, como que son unas medidas de seguridad, por ejemplo, que hay en las empresas, como por ejemplo, lo que hablábamos, ¿verdad? La vez pasada de que no se puede usar el teléfono, por ejemplo, que si el piso está mojado, en, o sea, ese tipo como de medidas de seguridad, algo así es lo que tenemos que hacer. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Exacto. Pero, teacher, en este caso vamos, vamos a usar lo que dice el cuadrito del ejercicio 6 de la página 37, o qué es específicamente lo que hay que hacer. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can use um, an example of that. Like, um, so one of the Chris. So critical, um, so choose one of the most critical hazards identified in the previous lesson. So, um, the previous lesson was this one. Let me show you. Do you remember this? Yes, teacher. Uh, we talked about um, the safety, the, the safety measures, right? Um, For example, teacher in construction, uh, they have to use, um, how do you say, cascos, safety? Helmet. Okay. And they have to use uh, gloves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, for example, that if we can use that example in yeah. construction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And these were some examples of what we used, right? Three new safety measures, blah, blah, blah. We did it. Remember these ones? 
We talked about this. Recuerdan? Yes. Okay. So you're going to be using like this, something similar to this. Okay. Okay. No sé, ya viene la misma. Uh -huh. Ahí se lo que agarremos uno de esos y lo vamos a hacer las medidas. Do you guys have any questions? Hello. Hello. Do you have any questions? Yes. Uh -huh. eh, Perdón, en, de, en las medidas vamos a agarrar desde de los ejemplos desde de la página 34, ¿verdad? Page 34. Talk to me in English. Uh, uh -huh. Could it be? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ok. Could be from for page 34. Mm -hmm. Offices, offices are sure. Offices are sure. Oh, I saw those. No, I guess it was. Potential, the potential to be dangerous in the house. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, entonces, what example? What is what is what is sample? Se haga ser peligroso y causar problemas. Es en dos. Ajá. Hospital. Se ve con más peligro de piscina. A ver, aquí. Penchal, un techo de tus anchos. Tu que es Are we finished? Hello? Yes. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so we're going to be presenting those posters tomorrow. Okay. Now, um, I want to ask you guys to, um, I want you to read this for homework. Okay. I'm going to show you the exercise, the article. I want you to read this for homework. Only read and 
circle words that you don't understand. That's your homework. Read and circle the words you don't understand. The This uh, article is in your manual. It's the last page of the manual. Okay. It's in the last page. So you, uh, you're in, your homework is simply to read it and circle words you don't understand. Okay. Okay. Pretty clear? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. In that case, we're going to, um, I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to take attendance. I'm going to take it quickly. So please um, be ready to open up your microphone so we don't have to wait too much. Okay, Christina? Present data. Okay, very good. Welcome. Uh, Ani? Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Mari? Present. Uh, Present teacher. Uh, Christy? Yeah. Christy? No? Jorge? Present teacher. Karen? Present teacher. Eh, Karina? Present. Marlene? I'm here. Um, Miguel? Present. Um, good. Um, Nelson? Nelson G? Present. Uh, Nelson A. Present teacher. Norma. Present teacher. Olga. Present teacher. Eh, Omar. Present. Zuleima Rodriguez. Zuleima Melgar. Y Tatiana. Present. Okay, very good. Bye, chicos. Entonces, ¿están claros en lo que es la tarea? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. All right. So that will be it for uh, for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Don't forget. No, no, no pierdan la clase mañana. Especialmente necesito que estén aquí temprano porque la encuesta que la la, la actividad de encuesta que hacemos. Uh, todos uh, los módulos al final se va a hacer temprano en esta ocasión, ok, entonces necesito que estén ustedes tempranos conectados para que podamos hacer la actividad todos juntos, ok ¿Any ok, okay, okay. teacher no. ok, all right, take teacher. care Ajá. si alguien quiere quedarse a hacer alguna pregunta, con gusto yo estoy aquí disponible, ok sorry, teacher okay. Uh, tomorrow you. I will be working Oh, Late. okay. Um, can you connect at least for the for the um, the questionnaire, the survey? Uh, what time? It's gonna be at eight. It will be eight twenty. Uh huh. Okay, I will be connected. Great. At okay. that at that time. See you at eight twenty then. Okay. All right. Take care. All right. Bye. Have uh, nice evening, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.